because we were monitoring the river without any ranges at that time and what it looked like before and after and we said oh we should start up a ranger group to do this instead of us old people going out and doing it for us you know look after our land go back to country like working on country protecting the animals plants and all that some of the places i didn't know which they talked about it before, but I've been out there, I've seen it. I've, you know, touched the ground there, my grandfather's country. And now that, the, like the old people said, I had to look after the country, probably like fire and all that. Good how the rangers um, work with, you know, getting fire, lighting fire here, here and there. So there's an area there, King Lipo. Big fires just go through there, destroy plants, animals. Just a couple of weeks ago, I finished burning up there. Like I feel we're on top of the fire, I think, with this early season burning, and you're seeing animals come back that you never see for quite a while. Oh, when I was a kid, anyway. They saw this grass coming back, and you know, most of the old people, there, tears coming out their eyes, and saw this special grass coming out. The way we the old people showed us how to use fire and all that. They still want to go out the country and we only got a few of them left and they still want to go out and because they're the real bosses of the country and we got to learn of them, you know. We got to keep them, we come with them and keep them story. And we to guide them, tell them story, where to go. And that's why we can help them, you know. If you want to really want to go look up the country, you know, you got to go out there and respect the place. We do healing trips back to country and the chillest the water is soaked, you know. Yeah, they used to get the water out, old people, and mm. we go back there and sort of clean it up. We look after our rock arts and look after our areas that need to be looked after. How that? We're digging up all the chillers and from the old people, you know. Come out, they see water, then they say, no. Tears come back to their eyes, and they say, oh, look, we got rangers out there. They know what they're doing. But they're the bosses, we take them out first, see? And they tell us how, how to do it and explain it. And songs go with all them things. Getting the, the knowledge from the old people down to us, and then through to, from us to the younger ones. Yeah. Guys are trained to be computer experts. We've got the you know, cyber tracker, so it's just yeah, making us complete in, in good management using traditional knowledge and scientific knowledge, so you know, collecting data, recording it and saving it. Guys didn't have stuff like um, seed collections and um, mm. these are new that um, female take on the role, um, try and grow some seedlings up for so that we can put them out in our country, yeah. But just putting in traps and making a grid, I think it's pretty easy now. I had to set them up, make a monitoring site. But yeah, as long as I got the books, I think I'll be right to just do it on my own with the boys. Our new boat will be delivered hopefully around June. And we've been waiting for a couple of years for this to arrive. We'll be able to do fee for service, but mainly manage the islands where we been living behind a bit because no decent vessel. We can see the change, what they've been doing. You could see what they've been doing. They've been taking a lot of photos and making books. And they have to report what they've been doing in the country. And a lot of changes. And we see what they've been doing, you know. And they're still doing it. Only thing is mucking us up now is the camels. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And the horses. So how are we going to go must up camels in the desert? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>